So, I know it's a cliche that stealing candy from a baby is supposed to be like this horrible thing, like it's the most evil thing you can do. But on the other hand, if you were to take a baby away from a stripper named Candy, you'd probably be doing her and the baby a favor. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> All right, let's meet your next comedian for the evening. Uh, this guy supports every show. He helps me run another show at Fallout. Uh, he's a big... He's great. He's awesome. He's everybody's friend. Put your hands together for Chris Martin. Did stand-up comedy at a restaurant called Wabi Sabi in Petersburg, Virginia. Last time anyone bombed that badly, the Union Army blew a 155-foot crater in the Confederate line and killed 300 men. Oh, my psychic told me that joke would suck. <laughs> Texas Board of Education wanted to rename the slave trade the Atlantic Triangular Trade. Turns out that the ovens at Auschwitz were actually tanning beds. People in Mississippi are always confused when they go to a Harry Potter movie. They think they're seeing a film about wizards. Somebody got it. Al and Tipper Gore are broken up after 40 years of marriage. Al Gore finally has a reason to eat for two people instead of three. Final straw was when Al stuck a fork in Tipper's hand while he was trying to get the last slice of bacon at breakfast. If Al gets any fatter, they're going to tow him out into the Gulf of Mexico and lower him on the BP oil well blowout. Oil spills getting really bad. The other day, my goldfish coughed up a tarball. So bad, the other day I was uh, taking the oil out of my car and I found a dead pelican. <laughs> the oil spill, they've tried just about everything and I think it's finally time for them to take off the gloves and unleash the Chia Pets. <laughs> I'm really bummed about Dennis Hopper's death because I bet serious money that he would be the next movie star to die like David Carradine. I've stopped listening to Young Jeezy, and now I just watch old Swayze. <laughs> My favorite newscaster used to be Juju Chang, but now it's Buddhist Buddhist Goldberg. We know the Wu-Tangs have a clan, but what about the Ting-Tings? I want everybody to say Barnes & Noble, no e-reader, rapidly and repeatedly. Nook e-reader. Barnes & Noble, Nook e-reader. I don't know about you, I'm thinking outside the box, but I think the phrase jumping the shark has jumped the shark. People at Starbucks are upset because they're allowing people to carry guns in the stores. Now you can get six shots in your espresso instead of a double. The most expensive coffee bean in the world comes from a Southeast Asian creature called the civet. It's taken from the excre excretions of the civet. It's just a matter of time before you can get a crappuccino from Starbucks. I'm so tired of these you might be a redneck jokes. I'm starting a new riff, a new meme based on horror movies. You might be a zombie if you have a craving for brains. Or you might be Sarah Palin. <laughs> you might be a werewolf if you have more back hair than Ed Asner. You might be a vampire if you suck more than Dane Cook. <laughs> there goes my comedy career. So, they're going to have the 2014 Super Bowl in New Jersey. The losing team will be buried underneath the 40-yard line. <laughs> Jimmy Hoffa told me that joke would kill. My name is Chris Martin. That's my time, and thank you very much.
find my jokes. Chris Martin, everybody, keep going. We need a new mic stand. So your next comic for the evening is, uh, he actually doesn't know this yet, so uh, I'm letting him know now. Uh, you're actually in the lead for our local comedy intramural Red Rocket competition, so. He's up to five. Don't ask. <laughs> All right, uh, put your hands together for Roy Rogers. Is there any chance I can get you to frame me right here again? What? Is this your face? Is yeah, yeah. I don't want to see my eyes. All right. Oh, you're a good man. How you guys doing tonight? I know it's been a long night of comedy. I appreciate you guys sticking around. My name is Roy Rogers. Uh, do you guys like peanut butter? Yeah. Do you guys like peanut butter? Yeah. yeah. See, I used to like creamy peanut butter, but I didn't just like creamy peanut butter. I hated crunchy peanut butter to the point where I got into an argument with my roommate about it, and I told her to go fuck herself. <laughs> Until one night I came home drunk, and after a night of drinking, I liked to eat a little something. Unfortunately, all we had in the house was a loaf of bread and a jar of crunchy peanut butter. So I sucked it up and I made a sandwich. I took a first bite. It wasn't awful. To the point where I finished the sandwich, and at the end I was like, what did I ever see in creamy? I woke up the next morning realizing what had happened. And I thought to myself, wow, my taste in peanut butter is really fickle. What if my sexuality were that fickle? <laughs> like I come home drunk one night, there's no vagina. <laughs> so I just make a penis sandwich. <laughs> and I start out and it's, it's not bad to the point where I'm like, what did I ever see in vagina? <laughs> You guys can't see it, but that girl in the back is fucking dying. This is awesome. <laughs> Army of one. Army of one. Audience of one. Uh, so I went to art school, and uh, I, always, I always admired the sculptors. Like, I wish I could sculpt very well, like Bernini. And if I had that kind of talent, I would use it to sculpt sexually explicit works of art, but they would be so beautiful and so flawless that they would just, there would be no choice other than to regard them as master craft works of art. <laughs> and so, so you've got like a conversation in an art gallery going, uh, oh my gosh, have you seen the new Rogers piece? It is exquisite. Oh really? It looks like a guy shitting on a woman. <laughs> I know, exquisite. <laughs> These are new, they're new. I'm just throwing it out there. Uh, so as you can tell, I don't dress very well, except for tonight I put on my skinny jeans. <laughs> Fat jokes always work. Uh, but every now and then I like to go out to the club and I like to, to dress to the nines and look really good. I'll spend like three hours getting ready and I'll go out. On one particular evening I went out and I noticed that everyone was looking at me. Like I, I was looking really good. And uh, these girls kept checking me out and uh, I decided to go to the bathroom to fix my hair and this guy stopped me along the way and he goes, yo man, you ballin'. I was like, thanks, man, you're balling too. He goes, no, you're balling. And he walks away. So I go into the bathroom and I look in the mirror and I'm like, wow, I really am balling. So I tuck it back into my pants. And I get the fuck out of that place. Oh, man. Have you ever guys, have you guys ever eaten something and immediately regretted it? Her name was Dolores. Uh, I'm talking about oral sex, folks. Uh, there's a nasty rumor going around that uh, the guys don't like to do that. And when they're talking about it to other guys, most of the time they're right. But for me, I don't mind. Like, I could go down for hours, but mostly because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right. Uh, 
So uh, I went to the beach the other day and I looked around and there were uh, just truckloads of gorgeous women. And then I was flipping through like, I like to go through old photographs and use them in my graphic designs. And the women back from the 1920s, they were ugly. Like not just ugly, like to the point where I don't know how the population ever exploded. Like who would fuck these women? Like I know they didn't. I didn't know if they didn't have like the Nintendos and stuff. But jeez, come on. They had hula hoops back then, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with that one at all. Um. So uh, I'm in need of a new wallet. But I can't justify spending money on a wallet, mainly because it's my last $20. And if I spend my last $20 on a wallet, then I don't really need a wallet. It's kind of a gift of a Magi situation unto myself. <laughs> There's a reference no one gets. Wait, are you calling me right now? Hang on, I got a text. <laughs> Not repeating that one. That's a dirty one. All right, forget the wallet joke. It's stupid. I just, I'm just gonna put the receipt in the wallet, and because I keep, I don't have any money to put in the wallet. It's all right. Screw the new stuff. This is bad. Uh, when I was growing up, my dad was never around, and uh, now that he is around, he keeps saying the same thing: better late than never. And. Uh, he gave me a fire truck the other day and said, Happy 7th birthday. <laughs> we got some catching up to do, Dad. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so last summer I got a DUI, but it wasn't my fault. I was at a bar with my buddy Monty, and uh, he's like, Hey, let's drink tequila. And I'm like, Sure, I like to black out. So the next thing I remember, we're driving down the interstate, and I'm not sure, but I think the cops pulled us over because uh, we were driving on the shoulder at about five miles an hour. <laughs> to be fair though, that's as fast as his wheelchair would go. I got the DUI because I was sitting in his lap blowing in the straw that makes it go. <laughs> When I saw those lights, all I could think was, quick, turn on the flux capacitor. We gotta get this bitch up to 88 miles an hour. Go back in time before you were paralyzed. Because that was obviously the reason we got pulled over. Uh, I got one more for you guys tonight. Uh, I work as a graphic designer, and uh, I have a nice little office with a window that looks out into a Richmond alleyway where homeless people congregate and do homeless people things. And uh, this homeless guy walks by one day and says, I eat tacos and slap titties. <laughs> what? After I got over my initial confusion, it dawned on me what was going on. Shouting out loud in public is really just a poor man's Twitter. <laughs> yeah. So I did what any self-respecting Twitter user would do. I went outside and retweeted that. <laughs> Now the world knows, I too eat tacos and slap titties. <laughs> Poor Twitter turned me on to something else though. Poor man's Craigslist. Was at the beach running around going, any 21 plus wanna fuck? <laughs> hey, I'm Roy Rogers, you guys been fun. Keep it going for Roy Rogers. Hey, Roy. I, I know you, you made that joke about not really knowing what you're doing down there, but I bet the sideburns get it done. <laughs> your, uh, your next comedian for the evening is more fun than a basement full of coeds. We checked. Uh, put your hands together for Travis Charles. Who here likes peanut butter? Roy! <laughs> oh, let's see. I, uh, I asked my friend the other day, I was like, dude, I said, is there a way to tell a girl that her uh, pussy stinks and make it sound like a compliment? He goes, yeah, dude, you do like this. Go, hey, your pussy stinks. Like roses. 
I, I like to do crazy stuff for fun. I like to, uh, recently I figured I like to pick up hitchhikers. Um, I pick them up just to fuck with them. A guy got in the truck the other day when he got in there and said, hey man, what's your name? He goes, oh, it's Steve. Good. <laughs> I needed an S. <laughs> man, come back. <laughs> so I saw how fast he ran when I was driving after. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I, I, I figured out that if someone comes up to you like after a night of going out, they come up to you and meet you the next day and go, dude, we did it last night. I assume they had sex, because we did it means you had sex. Well, uh, I was like, cool, dude. He goes, how'd it go? Oh, it was great, you know. After we did it, you know, I had to dig a hole and bury his ass. Like, whoa, 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 what the fuck? <laughs> I thought you had sex. Oh, we did, but after I got done, I felt bad for being gay, so I killed him and buried him. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. You're gay? <laughs> See, that's the point. I, I don't care, you killed the guys. Never mind. <laughs> I thought of that earlier, it's not funny. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I um let's see. I don't like you guys right here. I like to thank the uh the the the, the, uh, the new star of the uh, new karate kid is sitting right here. Uh, up for uh, Jaden Smith real quick. What is it like working with Jackie Chan? It's all I want to know. Do you do your own stunts? <laughs> I was the first one. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I still have a day job. Uh, comedy is a, like a part time gig for me. I still have a day job. Uh, my day job, I'm a cable installer. I install cable. Um, so I get to see a lot of weird people, a lot of crazy stuff. One of my favorite stories recently was I uh, walked into a house, knocked on the door. When it opened up, a little kid ran up, pulled my jeans, and goes, Mommy sucks dick for coke. <laughs> or how much coke? <laughs> okay, that was a joke. But the little kid actually told me his mommy sucked dick for coke, and my first thought was, is, uh, well, what would she do for a Klondike bar? <laughs> if I had a giant heart, I would circle you people like this. It's just so fucking awesome. <laughs> I, uh, I went to the house the other day, I went to the house the other day to install the internet server. Oh, by the way, I work in a part of Richmond, uh, over in Southside, they gave it a cute little nickname. Uh, they call it the ghetto. <laughs> Don't be ashamed. Um, I went to, <laughs> I'm gonna do this when I'm gonna move. Uh, I went to the guy's house to install the internet service, and I walked in, there was a big black dude on the couch smoking weed. All right, so I walked in and said, excuse me, sir, if you're putting the internet, would you mind showing your computer? He looks at me goes, it's over there, Charlie. <laughs> So I don't see, I'm like, sir, could you point your computer at one more time? I just don't see it. He's like, open your eyes closed, it's right there. Yeah, uh, that's a fucking Xbox. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm a, those are jokes. I'm a man, fuck it, I'm gonna do a little bit of it. Um, those are jokes that, that, that I've written. Um, I had some sad news happen the other day. Uh, me and my wife, my wife had a miscarriage, we lost her baby. Um, it is sad, but uh, she told me the worst pain was uh, when she got home and had to pull the tape off her arm for giving blood. I was like, what are you talking about? Not funny? Y'all can laugh at some of this shit. I'm going to get you funny in a minute. Don't cry. It's okay. <laughs> um, we asked the doctor, and was like, so how, you know, how did it happen? And his one uh, explanation was, well, your wife sat through too many of your comedy shows. I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to make something funny. I'm going to deal with it. Um, but the, the fucked up part was, okay, went to the doctor before it actually happened. And we're in there, you know, they're doing the blood work, checking the blood pressure and shit. But the doctor walks in and he goes, um, all right, we're going to check some things and uh, just to make sure you're not having a mystery or nothing. Oh, no, so I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, you know, we're going to worry to death, right? And he's in there saying this shit. And, okay, um, you all right? Okay. Let her go outside. This is my way of dealing Okay. Um, so he says all shit like he says it like it's not like it's no big fucking deal. It's kind of like walking to a hospital room going, "Hey, you have AIDS," but the good thing is you're gonna lose weight and look great for a few years. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop that shit. That's kind of that's kind of sad. It was better in my head. Me and her talked about it on the way up here. Like it might be kind of jokey to make fun of it to make it lighter, but it's not. So it's cool. Don't feel bad for us. You can still uh, talk to us. We're not. We don't have to play. 
comics, don't treat us differently. Don't uh, a lot of people like to say, you know, anything I can do, you know, anything I can do to help you, just ask. Anything I can do to help, just ask. Uh, well, I'd like to let you know my power bill is behind, <laughs> and I have not made a car payment in three months. So <laughs> that would greatly fucking help the situation right now. <laughs> All right. Go back into some jokey jokes. I had to talk about it for a second. Got it out there. Um, let's see. Well, give me a joke, Jesse. My brain's going. Oh, um, pirate. Pirate. <laughs> assistant. I'll do the pirate one. Okay. Um, I realized the other day that if I was a pirate, I would nickname my penis uh, the treasure. That way my pickup line to a girl in a bar will go, Arr, baby, you know where I can bury me treasure? <laughs> really? They laughed at it. It's shocking. That's a miscarriage. Hey, that's why I started off with shit that was funny and then did the sad stuff. Get off my chest. Um, I, uh, you know, before I met my, my current wife, I was single for a year and a half. And uh, when you're single that long, you find yourself doing things you normally wouldn't do. Like, I found myself going online to some of these dating websites, and I came across the website Craigslist. You guys heard of Craigslist? Yeah. All right, they have dating on there and stuff on there. They actually have a portion there for personals. Came across an ad one day that said, a female magician seeks like-minded individual. But this is awesome, I go with this girl, learn a few secrets. So we go back to her place when I start messing around, and I decided to go down on her. When I did, opened up her legs, the first thing I heard was, what is that? She's like, stop it, no, do that, stop it. I'm like, mm -mm, bitch, I just heard a bird. <laughs> so I went down there again, I heard it again. <laughs> hey, bitch, you flew to her vagina, right? This freaked me the fuck out, man. I jumped off the bed, and I'm standing the floor looking at her going, um, I don't mean to be the rude one here, but uh, what are you going to say about what just happened? She looked me straight in the face like, um, ta-da! <laughs> Get a cage! Get a cage. <laughs> Oh, what is another one? Um, uh, look at my phone. Can you text me something? Okay, I'm gonna do that one in a second. You haven't texted me yet. I uh, doing comedy is fun. You can travel around a lot. One of my favorite parts of traveling is of staying in hotels when you're on the road. Um, I found something fun for all the guys in the room to try. Next time you go to a hotel, do this, okay? Go downstairs in the room and then the uh, robe they provide for you. Hold it shut with one hand like this and have the other hand full of lotion, okay? Walk down the front counter, girl, and go, why did my movie stop? <laughs> I was almost there. <laughs> it might work for ladies, too, but you might have to go downstairs and go like this, go, why did my movie stop? <laughs> Maybe use more than two. I'm just texting you. Um, I do that, too, okay? I do that this one. Um, my other, favorite, my other favorite part about being a comic is meeting celebrities, uh, as like tonight. Um, <laughs> I think it's great that when you meet a celebrity and you tell them your name and you introduce yourself, they feel the need to introduce themselves back to you like you don't know who they are. It's like, oh, hey man, my name's Travis Charles. Uh, hey, I'm Tom Cruise. <laughs> really, dude? <laughs> I've seen you in your underwear. Come on. Or better yet, hey, I'm Travis Charles. Uh, hey, I'm Paul Cogan. Really? I used to play with you in the bathtub. <laughs> I used to do this creepy little thing where I'd spread your legs over my penis and make it look like a giant cock. No one played a fucking Hulk Hogan in the bathtub before in here. <laughs> That's the first time that fucking joke didn't get a laugh right there. One. Um, I uh, recently bought a knife, but I, I didn't buy a, uh, a uh, Swiss Army knife, I bought a French Army knife. Because that thing comes with a uh, white flag and a rape whistle. <laughs> my name is Travis, guys. Thank you guys very much. I appreciate it. Travis Charles, who, if I'm not mistaken, stood up here and said, you people look like other black people, and got laughs. laughs. You're a god, sir. Uh, Travis is actually going to be headlining here in two weeks on the 28th uh, for our regular 955 comedy show, so come back. Uh, it'll be a lot of fun. 